Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome to the channel update news for May. Now, as many of you probably don't know, because uh, not many people follow the channel too closely, but, um, why am I wearing these? Uh, I've actually been gone for about five days. Uh, the channel hasn't had any new uploads for the last five days, and I actually already recorded this video, but I didn't do an audio check before I actually recorded the video, so there's roughly 13 minutes out there that's just gone to the ether now because my mic actually wasn't recording. Um, it has a tendency to, I think sometimes when I turn the computer off and then turn it back on, I have to open Bandai Cam and reset the um, audio device in the secondary channel to uh, Snowball Blue Mic, which it's not even that fancy of a mic, but it gets the job done. Basically, I've been gone for about five days, and in my defense I did post um, like an update on the YouTube channel uh, discussion page, the Facebook channel page, and the Twitter channel page, but I guess, you know, that's not really good enough, because these sort of things, you know, can cost you a lot of, uh, it can it can cause your audience to become concerned, and cost you a lot of views and subscribers, and, you know, it just brings channels down, so I'll try not to let that happen again with the whole inconsistent uploading thing, but, in my defense, the reason the channel was uh, inactive for about five days and I was gone was because I was working on a special project for an event uh, that a popular YouTuber known as Markiplier is like you guys don't know who the heck he is like anybody doesn't know who he is, 20 million people <laughs> God. but basically I was trying to create a special video project for the whole Markiplier has been exiled 2018 thing and it worked great I love it, I love it, it's a labor of love I felt like it's the least I could do for all the years he's given, like, you know, his audience of laughter and all the videos I've watched of his and laughed at with friends. I really tried to help out and I felt that um, anybody could just sit behind a computer and pretend to be him, which is kind of suspicious how people had setups just like his, just on the fly. You know, they had the, they had, I mean, anybody can go out to the store and get a red flannel. No, you know, that's not so hard. But the, um... The audio blocking foam that they had on the walls, the same lighting setup, it's a little bit suspicious, you know, I mean, you know, you don't just get stuff like that on the fly, unless you know people, or unless you've been, you know, copying them before this event happened, but, um, I, I felt like I tried to do something original, which was a, <laughs> no hate against them, their, their videos were wonderful, they're much better than mine. But uh, without being down on myself, I tried to do something that I felt was really original and very heartfelt. We had a lot of fun making it, and I'll uh, add a link in the description below. Um, it's on my Facebook page. I don't think he's ever going to see it, but um, it is a reenactment of a scene from a gameplay that he played called West of Loathing. It's the first time his character actually encounters a spittoon in-game. And as you know, spittoons in real life are very disgusting, but this game makes a play on how disgusting they are and searching around in that spittoon for like a magical item. And the comedy is that you know it's disgusting, but you decide to delve your hand in there and get this magical item out in game anyway. And I'll add a link to um, West of Loathing in the description below and probably a link to his gameplay of it if, if you haven't seen it already. Uh, it was one of my favorite playthroughs that he's done, aside from Subnautica, and I decided to do a live-action reenactment of that with the help of, of, from a friend of mine. And it was a, a, a labor of love. It, it means, means a lot to me. I worked harder on that project for him than I have for anything I've ever done for my own channel, which says a lot. But um, after this, we'll be getting back to our regular recording schedule days on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. And I'm really hoping that I can get back to uploading daily, at least for a week or two, without having to have a vacation in order to do it. Um, because the last time I took a vacation, I was able to get enough videos stockpiled to keep the channel going on daily uploads for about two weeks. And then after that, two weeks ran out and I had to get back to work. <laughs> and uh, we had to go to um, every other day as opposed to every day. So, um, we'll be keep going with the, um, Scott will be keep going. We'll be continuing with the Skyrim, Ratchet and Clank, Robot Arena 2, and Naruto Ultimate Ninja uploads. As far as anything else, um, those are sort of like side projects that I've been working on, and 
any other live action stuff will be really fun to do. So hopefully this video, um, the update for May, whoo, happy, happy Mother Day, uh, <laughs> happy Mother Day, happy Mother's Day to all y'all out there that I missed up on Sunday, but uh, happy late Mother's Day, and um, I don't think any mothers watch this channel. It doesn't matter, it's a holiday. Happy Mother's Day, by God, <laughs> to anybody out there that cares. Um, hopefully this uh, update for May answered any questions that you may have had or any burning concerns about the channel. I didn't die. The channel's hopefully not dead. Hopefully people will still watch. And um, I'll be there with you. I think tomorrow I'm going to make an upload. Um, even though it's Tuesday, I feel like I ought to try to make up for the last five days that I've been missing. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy those videos. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.